I want to go to the beach. Starting route to Rockaway Beach. No, this is not my car. And no, I don't think you care at all about my road trip. But I've been driving this insane 2016 Corvette Stingray to test Apple's CarPlay. With it, you plug in your phone and you can control all sorts of things like calls, music, maps, and other stuff with your voice or via the screen. Text Jonathan Krim. He's my boss. Okay, what do you want to say to Jonathan Krim? I'm not feeling too well today. I'm uh, not gonna make it in. I'm gonna rest up. Your message to Jonathan Krim says, I'm not feeling too well today. I'm not gonna make it and I'm going to rest up. Ready to send it? Yes, Siri, I do wanna send that. And in fact, I'm very impressed with your transcription skills. That is until I roll down the windows or put the top down. Siri, schedule me a hair appointment. Safety experts say talking to Siri can be a distraction, but it's not as bad as this touch screen, which feels worse than one on an airplane seat. I do like that CarPlay works with Spotify and other music apps, but Siri can only DJ Apple Music. Siri, play Little Red Corvette. Little Red Corvette. Siri, I'm starving. Where's the closest Mickey D's? What kind of businesses are you looking for? No, Siri, McDonald's. Where is the closest McDonald's? Getting directions to McDonald's. The destination is on your left. Nice car, what would you like to order? You know, Siri, I'm still not sure that was the closest McDonald's. Apple Maps has gotten way better, and I haven't crashed into the Atlantic Ocean just yet. But traffic data is still really weak so is points of interest. Speaking of traffic, Google Maps and Waze would not have sent me this way. Out the car. I do wish Siri knew more about where I was going next, and I wish Apple Maps were as good as Google Maps, but actually this is the best way to drive around if you've got an iPhone. Okay, but I asked about the car. The car is absolutely amazing. The destination is on your left. Are you there? I'm everywhere. 